Well, howdy there, folks. It's Jesse Jeffers. Um, yeah. There may be some backlash for posting this video, but at this point, I kind of don't care. So, uh, the Kansas City Royals. I have been a fan for as long as I can remember. I grew up in Marshall, Texas, rooting for the Kansas City Royals because I was born right outside of Kansas City, Missouri. And all my family, my friends, are from Kansas City. And that's kind of where I called home. So I've been a fan for a long time. I'm, I'm, I'm pushing 40 years old, and as long as I can remember, that's been my team. So anyway, uh, 2014, I moved to uh, Bossier City, Louisiana. I lived there for the next six years. And in 2020, I moved back to Kansas City because of some things happening. Uh, yeah, and when I moved back home, Mom and Dad were like, yeah, we're going to do something special for you. And for my birthday, my dad bought me a season ticket package to the Royals. Well, it was like a 10-game plan. And uh, they got this thing called the Pick 10 plan, and that's what we did. We bought two tickets to 10 games. One of those games is on June 18th. And I was looking at the promotion, and it's LGBTQ Pride Day. I am a born-again Christian. And I have an issue with this promotion, this celebration of LGBTQ Pride. Now, that doesn't mean I have any hatred for LGBTQ people. I just don't really feel that that is a celebration that I belong at. I went to mom and dad and I said, are you aware that this promotion falls on the day that we have tickets to the game? They said, no, we're not. And if we were, we wouldn't have bought those tickets. So we called the Kansas City Royals and tried to change the game. Now, let me tell you this. We've had to change several games because of the COVID thing. And uh, they had actually contacted us in April and asked us to switch some games around. And we said, sure, that's not a, not a problem. When we asked if we could switch this game around, they said, nah, you're kind of stuck with it. I told my mom and dad, I said, you know what, I don't really want to go to the game. And, you know, again, I have no hatred in my heart toward those people, but how far does political correctness go that I have to celebrate something that goes against my religious beliefs? that I have to embrace things that are wicked. Um, so, they won't refund my ticket. They won't refund my parents for the ticket. It was a birthday gift to me, so really it's my ticket. And I can do with it as I please. If I were to go to this game, I would want to carry a sign. I've got a sign, I've got a t-shirt that looks like a Westboro Baptist Church t-shirt. It says, God hates country music, or God hates that popular country music. thought about wearing that to the game just to kind of get some looks, but, you know, I'd rather, I'd rather just stay home. Again, I'm a lifelong Kansas City Royals fan. But if these people are going to draw a line in the sand and say you've got to support this lifestyle to be a fan of our team, then this is where I get off the train, guys. This is where I get off the bus. Y'all do your thing, I'll do mine. Anyway, I'm not saying that that is the correct opinion. It probably, that's probably a pro politically incorrect opinion. I'm not saying you got to share my opinion. This is my opinion. And people need to know that there are people that are fans of the team that believe this way. And that will not support the team if they draw the line in the sand here. Have a good day, people. 
love you.